Hello student, welcome back to my channel. So, can you find Laplace inverse 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2? Just so this is a non Laplace inverse transformation question. So, first write solution. Okay, so what is solution? Now, write given first. Given, given is what in question right here. Given Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus 1 and s plus 2. Okay, now. Now we solve we can solve this question by two method partial fraction method and convolution. So I'm solving by convolution theorem method. So right here by convolution theorem by convolution convolution theorem. Okay, by convolution theorem. Okay. So what is convolution theorem? Hmm? F of t into g of t is equal to integral of zero to t f of u into g of t minus u okay this is into d okay this is a convolution theorem so you have to find out the f of u and g of u okay so f of t is whatever this is so in this question we uh, separately split this one by s plus one first then one by s plus two okay so f of t what i'll take one by s plus one first part i'm taking here so okay I apply the laplace inverse so laplace inverse of one by s plus one so it become here yeah, I am using Laplace inverse formula. What is which Laplace inverse formula? Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus a is equal to e power minus a t. So it becoming e power minus t. Okay, this is what our f of no here minus you have to take. Okay, why I am taking e power e power minus u? Why I am taking e power minus? We are integrating with respect to u. Okay, here e power minus u in this is our f of u. Okay. This is u. Don't forget, this is not for u. Then g of t. Now g of t is equal to 1 by s plus 2. Same here. Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus 2. Okay, so it become here e power minus 2u. This is our what? g of u. Okay, now now apply this in this condition, in this theorem. So it becomes integral of 0 to t f of u is what e power minus u into e power minus 2 into t minus u okay oh okay, this is a uh, according to uh, for this condition i have applied this g of u okay e power minus i uh, here t minus u so that's why i'm taking t first and minus u afterward now what you will do integral of 0 to t e power minus you now open this e power minus 2 t into t is become e power minus 2 t then e power minus 2 into minus u become so minus 2 become plus e power u okay so it become e power minus e power 2 u okay e power minus 2 minus become plus here so e power 2 u now what is bigger what is my integral 0 to t now e power 2 u minus e power minus 2 u so it become e power u okay it will become e power u into e power minus 2 t e power 2 u minus or e power minus u so it become e power u this is not for u don't get confused okay not for now now what will I, we are integrating no so we will take this e power minus 2 t outside okay e power minus 2t integral of 0 to t e power u into du why i am taking e power minus we are integrating with respect to u only du here also du okay don't get confused so integrate in the form of e power x what is the integral of e power x is what e power x only okay integral of e power x is what e power x only and this is a, a different integral we don't add constants so become e power minus 2t into e power u this is u not for e power u in limit 0 to 0 now apply that limit how we apply that limit you know fb minus fa this is the uh, procedure to apply the limit for b fb minus fa what is b t t then minus a is what 0 now apply the limits e power minus 2t now open the bracket e power instead of u now substitute e power t hmm? what is then minus e power 0 
instead of you are substituting this okay first t then minus 0 minus minus then always remember e power minus 2t into e power t my always remember e power the uh, in in every question you will get e power anytime you get e power zero the value of e power zero is what always one okay I highlighting this part so you have to know this is all the formula this is all the formula we are using these are formulas we are using this so my minus this is one okay not one okay now e power minus 2t into e power t so what it become e power minus t minus e power minus 2t into 1 is what e power minus 2t okay so the here why why it is um, minus 2t plus 2t so it become e power minus t then e power minus 2t into 1 is what e power minus 2t so i'm just multi opening the bracket okay don't get confused so this is our solution okay this is our answer thanks for watching